Praise the Lord. God is good. Good to see everyone out tonight. Uh, there's a few people out that uh, have colds, uh, uh, runny nose, and all that. It's not COVID, okay? Um, but um, we know that it's best to stay home when, when uh, you're not feeling well, and we're going to pray for them. Uh, so praise God. I want to encourage you as you turn to uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Uh, I just want to encourage you. This Friday, uh, we're going to be having a deeper encounter. But what my wife and I want to do, we've been talking about it. If, if there's an area in our life that we need a breakthrough in, and it's, it's in the area of seeking God and expecting to receive, amen? Uh, how many have, uh, how many need for God to do something in your life? Well, it seems like not too many, no wonder. How many people, uh, you need God to do something in your life? Okay, okay. And, and I'm not doing that to try and draw uh, excitement and make the church loud or something, but, but we just need to know if, if you really want, need, want God to do something in your life, then we got to do more than just sit there. Amen? And, and, and uh, on Friday, Deeper Encounter, and I don't want to just wait for a Deeper Encounter for us to expect something uh, from God. I think we need to worship God, pray, believe, get excited when, when, uh, uh, every time we meet. And not only every time we meet, but be even at home, hallelujah, he is worthy to be praised. Amen? This morning, as, um, evening, as you see um, the uh, title there, uh, I'm going to be uh, ministering on the attitude of success, for success. Uh, right now, when I pray or, or I, 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 God gives me the message that um, for this church, at, for this time, um, on my mind, what's, what's always on my mind is, is what God wants for us, okay? Not only does God want something from us, but he wants something for us. And, and, uh, we, and we want God to give us the things that we can only have if he gives them to us. Amen? And, and one of the things that I believe that we all want in life is we want to succeed. And I'm not talking about becoming president or mayor or, or rich and all those things. I, I, I'm not talking about that. Uh, uh, we can become all that. We could become rich. We could become the mayor or president, whatever. Uh, there's no limits, okay? But, but I'm talking j just in general wh where we live. I believe that we all want to succeed in our marriages, amen? I believe we all want to succeed as parents, uh, those of you in school, in college, high school, junior high, whatever, I believe that you want to succeed in school, uh, in, your, in your career, in your walk with God. And, and I want to tell you something that you can. You could succeed in these areas and more. You, you know, you could do that. When I first got saved, I was so excited. And, and man, I wanted to 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 uh, uh, to succeed and and think my my, my marriage uh, uh, and and God helped me there I succeed in, in many things I loved the music ministry I was uh, in the uh, the worship team I, I started the worship team in our church and 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 uh, you know I I, I love that but you know what then God challenged me to do what I'm doing right now and 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 everything that 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 Every place that God has placed me in, you know what? It has not been easy, but it's possible because we can do all things through Christ. Can you say amen? Uh, to succeed, we can all succeed, but, but there are things that we need to do to, to uh, make it happen. You need to understand this, that God did not create you to fail. Okay, and, and we do fail at times. We do fail, but he did not create you to fail. 
And, and because uh, uh, we do a good job doing that on our own, amen? Uh, I don't know how many times I told myself, stupid, you're dumb. Why did you do that? Why did you say that? You know, uh, uh, God did not create us to fail, but we can fail. We do that on our own. The, we, the one thing that can cause a person to fail in life is, uh, uh, is having a wrong attitude. Having a wrong attitude, a wrong mindset. And, and the Bible has a lot to say about our attitude. I pray this morning, evening, that, that you know what? If, if you got a crummy attitude, if you got a negative attitude, that if you got a, a, an attitude that if you continue to have that attitude, you're going to fail, you're going to mess up. You know, I pray that, that the Holy Spirit will get a hold of you and, and, and tell you this evening you are better than that. You are better than that. So today, I, I want to minister uh, on the attitude for success. And, 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 and think about this, because I want you to think of, 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 of whatever it is that you need to succeed in. You want to be a better person, a better parent, better marriage, a, a career, what, a better Christian, man. You know what? We're going to see what the attitude of success is all about. 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says this. Therefore, my brethren, be, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. And I'm going to be I'm going to be defining and repeating and, and stressing these words, steadfast, immovable, always abounding, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, my God, that you anoint me to minister to those that are here tonight, and my God, and to those, my God, that are watching us on live stream or or those that are listen to this message uh, uh, maybe at another time uh, through YouTube, my God, I pray right now that you anoint me. By that, I'm asking that I get out the way, that I decrease, you increase. Father, my God, it may be my voice, but let people hear you, precious spirit. Let people hear you, precious Holy Spirit. Speak to us, and may we respond to you and that we can see change and, and we can see blessings and, and that we succeed in areas that we need to. In Jesus' name I pray. And everyone said, amen. Hallelujah. If you ever make a study of the lives of people who became history makers, you will see that they all had something in common. Okay, something very simple. What did they, what what does a history maker do? Uh, what do they all have in common? I'll tell you what. It's very simple. They don't give up. They don't give up. Uh, uh, Paul Harvey, he, he was a, a radio commentator, uh, commenter, uh, a commentator and, and he was asked this question. What was the secret of your success? And his response was this. I get up when I fall down. We need to do that. And, and sometimes fall down, that doesn't mean you, you backslide necessarily. That, 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 that may mean you, you made a mistake, you stumble. They, I mean, you may, maybe you fall down in your spirit. He says, I, I get up when I fall down. Someone says, said that success is getting up just one more time than when you fall down. If at first you don't succeed, you are running about average. That's so true. We, we can learn something from uh, 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 the attitude of those who face setbacks. Uh, uh, many people who, who uh, uh, face setbacks, but they did not uh, uh, fail. You know what? Despite, I mean, they did not quit. Despite all the many opposition, the setbacks, they remain steadfast and immovable. 
And, and, uh, and, uh, and man, I, you know, uh, when I looked things up, I had a whole list of people that, that, that today they're successful, like Thomas Edison and all these inventors. And, and you know what? He, he, they didn't just uh, 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 invent the light bulb and one day. They didn't invent electricity just one time. You know what? They failed, they failed, they failed. Abraham Lincoln, before he became president of the United States, man, he he. He, it, man, they didn't vote for him many times, but he kept going, he kept going, he kept going, and one day he became the president of the United States. Today, I want to focus on the word immovable, okay? Uh, uh, immovable, uh, 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 the, uh, the Greek word for immovable has several meanings. Uh, and it means not easily excited, uh, not easily shaken or affected. It describes something that is something that is not changeable or unpredictable. In other words, uh, 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 you know, you don't change. If things fall apart, you don't change. You just keep going. Uh, uh, the, this word refers to one of, one of the most important attitudes for those who want to finish the race. Man, running the race is not easy, amen? Running the race is not easy. You, you, you know, running the race, you get tired, you, 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 you th there's pain, there's, there's uh, uh, you, you get cramps, and, and, and it's not easy. And, and especially when someone that is running alongside of you falls down or they don't wanna go on and all that, it's not easy just to continue, continue, but uh, you need to develop that attitude of, of, of uh, 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 you know, you're immovable. In other words, uh, to succeed, to, uh, to uh, accomplish something, you are, need to be immovable. And, 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 and that's a powerful word. Like, like, for example, immovable is referred to, to a structure made of stone. I, I'm talking about a building made out of stone, out of rock. A, a monument or something, a statue, it's immovable. In other words, it's strong, it's sturdy, it's immovable, it's going nowhere. And see, that's the kind of attitude we need to have. We, 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 we could have a, 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 a physique like Barney Five, amen? Uh, you all know who is uh, Mr. Limpid. Uh, uh, that's going way back. Maybe some, you know, um, um, Gomer Pyle or, you know, uh, we, we may have, a, people may look at us that way, but let me tell you something. Inside, inside, you, 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 you got to you gotta be strong. You got to be sturdy. You got to be uh, 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 immovable. In other words, I ain't going nowhere. Amen. I'm kind of proud of myself and my wife. Uh, we've been serving God for, uh, she's been serving God 46 years, me 45. Been pastoring the church 40 years. And I want to tell you something, despite all that we faced in our saved life as pastors, all that we've experienced, all the assaults, the attack, the disappointments and all that, let me tell you something, I can tell you Oh, we may have got discouraged. We may have, man, just got the wind sucked out of us. But let me tell you, I can declare to you and testify that we have not quit. We have not stopped. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, and this is why this, this uh, means so much to me because, because, uh, 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 this word immovable is referring to someone who has a strong and unbending character. That's how you need to be. No matter who's doing what, you are keeping your face straight ahead to the, to the finish line. Can you say amen? Uh, this word immovable portrays uh, 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 something that is solid, unbending, something that is not easily shaken or affected. You know, 
not easily shaken or effective. You know, bad news, uh, 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 an earthquake, uh, uh, a shakeup, uh, discouragement. You know what? Uh, it, it, it might, uh, it might uh, uh, come your way, it might spook you, it might shake you and all these things. I mean, scare you and all these things. But you know what? You are not going to let it affect you in a, in a negative way. In other words, to be immovable is the opposite of being fickle. The opposite of being in church. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pastor or sister, you know, we want to testify. We want to sing. Oh, man, we're, we're here till the wheels fall off. But what happens is, 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 is when the when the assault comes, when the ground shakes, when you're, the wind blows, you know what? What happened? Are you with me this morning, evening? To be immovable is the opposite of being fickle. In other words, here today and gone tomorrow, quitting under pressure. In, in our text, Paul is talking to us about the need to be stable and dependable. Uh, this is going to come out on the screen. For, uh, once again, our text, uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Uh, this is talking about a rock-solid uh, uh, attitude. A fixed, a grounded, an established attitude. It's talking about someone that is rooted, anchored, unwavering, unstable. And church, I want to tell you something. Without that kind of attitude, you're not going to be around. You're not going to be around. Because let me tell you something. Right now, I believe in uh, 2020, I was just talking to Pastor Mike. Uh, 2020, man, started out where it seemed like, oh, Hell broke loose on, on, on the world. Not in our church, not in Stockton, in the world. People getting sick, people dying, things happening, all these, uh, all these uh, uh, things. And, and let me tell you something, it hit us too. It hit us too. And, 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 and I believe it's not over yet. The assaults are not over. But this is why it's so important that you guys, you and I, become grounded, established in what we believe, that we are anchored, man, that we are un you know, that we're, we're being stable. In other words, we ain't going nowhere, okay, say amen. I don't hear too many amens, but I, I, I pray that you're paying attention here. This is why it's, this, what I'm saying is so important is because we will encounter many disappointments, many setbacks, many tough battles, many storms in life. This isn't the first time you hear this. Seem like I hear this almost every other time I preach here, but it's because it's true. Church, we need to remember that. You need to remember that. There will always be something that tries to get in our way. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one that that happens to. I know I'm not. You know what? We all get here. Let me give you some words of wisdom here. If you are not determined to, uh, uh, to be tougher than, your, the, than the problem you are facing, it won't be long before you throw in the towel and give up. You need to be determined to be tougher than the problems that you face. Don't, don't, don't focus so much on the problem. Don't focus so much on the negative. Don't so, focus so much on what you're facing uh, that you think that that's the way it's going to be. No, that's not the way it's going to be. Like we heard on Sunday about prayer, like it says in the Bible, you know what, you speak to that problem. You speak the word of God to the problem. You declare the word of God to the problem. You take authority and you 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 take dominion and 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 you know what? And 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 you say it and believe God is going to change it. If not, 
you're just going to stay in a deep depression, a deep pity party. That's not the kind of God that we serve. That's not the kind of faith that we teach in this church. That's not the kind of weak relationship that we teach in this church. We are warriors, man. Ever since Charter Way, I've always looked at everybody, because I, I, I think in a military mindset, I've always thought of us as a Green Beret church. Can you say amen? A Green Beret uh, 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 faith. In other words, the Green Berets were the ones that went into the thick of the battle. When I went to uh, Vietnam, uh, uh, I went as a, as a baker. I went as a cook, but I became a baker, volunteered, and loved it. And, and, and there were times I came back from Vietnam, and, and they were, uh, you know, during Veterans Day, uh, thank you for your service, thank you for your service, oh, thank you for your service. And, and, you know, when you tell people you came from Vietnam, you went to Vietnam, they always look at you like, like man, you went to jungle, and, man, I wonder what he went through. Uh, uh, you know, all these things. People, I had a conversation with uh, when I uh, got together with, uh, the people from England one time and, and, and Chile, and, and, and you know, and, and, and they're asking all these questions, you know, I, and I, I, t I just tell them, I, got, I mean, I said to myself, you got to tell them. <laughs> you got to tell them. <laughs> you got to tell them. Because, you know, they look at me like, wow, Pastor, you know, look at me like, okay, I, 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 <laughs> I says, yeah, I, I almost I got killed a few times. I did. <laughs> uh, one time the stove blew up on me. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I, I, went, I was lighting the gas stove outside, and man, first time and ever I've heard the voice of God. I just heard one thing, run. <laughs> I was in Vietnam. I, I could have got a purple heart for that, you know what I mean? <laughs> But, 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 no, I forgot how long I even went there, but, <laughs> okay. Well, when I look, when I look, and I know where I'm going, when I look at myself here in church, when I look at myself on this battlefield, I don't see myself, and there's nothing wrong. I, I don't see myself as a cook. I don't see myself as a baker. And there's nothing wrong. We need bakers. We need cooks. We need all these things. Okay. I look at myself as I'm dressed to kill. I'm dressed, I look at myself with a green beret hat, you know, uh, a marine. Uh, you know, I look at myself as someone that, that uh, you know, uh, in the battlefield with, with bullets on the side and, 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 a, and a, 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 you know, machine gun or whatever, you know, M14 we had at that time. And, and, and grenades hanging on you. That's how I look at myself, dressed spiritually. Dressed for war, dressed to kill. Amen? I'm going home. I'm going home. In Vietnam, once again, they said, it's either you or Charlie. I tell my, told myself, I'm going home. I'm going home. When, when, when I went through psychological things there, uh, man, you know what? Uh, Man, what if you get blown up? What if, what if all these things? I told them, I, I, my mind could have went all kind of ways, but I said, I'm going home. I came home. I came home. And that's what I want to be able to say when I get to heaven. I came home. Amen? That's what I want to say. But, but, but our attitude has a lot to do with our success our attitude, an immovable attitude is so important. It's an attitude that says, I'm not moving until I see my dream come to pass. I'm not moving until I see, uh, my God, God is good. Can you say amen? If, if, on, on Facebook, if you read my daughter Lisa's, uh, you know, uh, uh, nobody could go in to see Nacho. They ain't seen Nacho in a long time. I'm talking about inside talking. And you know what? She just prayed 
declare, and, and it was a big old prayer and all that, but she just prayed, and man, they okayed her to go in there and feed him and be with him and all that. You know, that's a big thing for her. Praise God. But she was steadfast. She did not give up. Uh, uh, you know what? And, and, and uh, uh, w w you know, our attitude has to be, I'm going, I'm not going to let anything take me out. What, what have you gone through lately? And you, I don't want to hear it, but I want you to think about it. What have you gone through lately that was so discouraging that could have taken you out? What was it, man? What temptation have you been through that caused you to think, should I? Should I? That could take you out, man. The devil, the strategist. Sometimes he doesn't use pain. He uses things that look good. See, Paul, in our text, tells us to do the opposite of giving up. In 1 Corinthians 15, 58, he says, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. You know, be steadfast, immovable, steadfast, all these things. But he says, always abounding in the work of the Lord. To be immovable, church, is an attitude that you have to choose to have. You have to choose to have. Uh, uh, this is why I said earlier that, that, uh, that I, I pray that if anybody here came with a, uh, you know, and, and, and man, sometimes I need to be picked up. And you'd be surprised how many times in talking to you or, or listening to someone preach, I get encouraged. And, and I pray this morning, evening, that if you came to church, you came to church, and God bless you for that. But you know what? You came a little bummed out. You came a little down. You, you know, it's hard for you to even pay attention because you know what? Your, your, your mind is thinking somewhere else. Well, I want to tell you something. I pray that I can help you change your attitude because you need to change your attitude. Only you can do that. Or you can choose to just stay flaky and quit. Satan, Satan will attempt to sidetrack you any way he can. And, and he, will do, he will try his best to divert you, to discourage you. He'll use many strategies to move you off course, to take you away from your intended goal. And we all have a goal. We all have a finish line. Can you say amen? We all have that. And that's why it's important to make up your mind to be rooted, grounded, anchored, unwavering, man, uh, in your commitment to God. And this is what's going to help you to accomplish whatever it is that God has for you, okay? Now, here's something very important, very important to keep in mind, okay? Living for God, living for God, you being a Christian, you being in church, you going forward is not only about you. It's not only about you, and here's what I mean. There are others around you watching your life, okay? Uh, others watching your life, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and let me tell you something. Your life, you're preaching a message on your job. You're preaching a message to your kids. You're preaching a message to, to, to someone that is secretly looking at you and you have no idea. You're preaching a message. There's people that, that in work in, in Alaska, there's people that, a guy that I met in Alaska, there, there's people at work that told me they were Christian and all that. You know, I don't want to hear it. I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear the witness and all that. But let me tell you something. I didn't forget the things that were, sometimes they weren't even talking to me. They were talking to somebody else. But you know what I did? I kept my eyes on them. I kept my eyes on them. And especially in Alaska, this guy was being harassed, being harassed by, by everybody else, laughing at him. And, 
and, and making fun of him and all that. But let me tell you something. I kept my eyes on him. I wanted to see what is he going to do? What is he going to do? You know what he did? He just got up, got his Bible, and went to church. He was inviting everyone to go to church, and they would laugh at him. I was, my bunker was next to his, and I was saying, invite me. Invite me. Man, uh, Irene and I, that was a time when, when, when uh, we were saved, and, and man, we were just struggling. We were just struggling. And you know what? I just heard what he was saying. I, I seen his life, and I said, you know what? Man, that guy's got something. I, I wasn't a Christian. She wasn't a Christian. And I said, he, he's got something. And I was saying, invite me. And now I know what I was talking about. Well, he didn't invite me. But it's all right. Because the way he lived through everything that he was put through, man, the Lord was preaching to me right there. He was steadfast, immovable. See, living for God is not only about you. Your life is a message in action. People are watching how you live, how we live. And, and this is especially true when we're uh, uh, experiencing tough situations. I, I, I've had people just recently tell me, Pastor, uh, we, we, we were looking at you to see, to see how you're going to handle this. Think decisions I had to make and, and now decisions I have to make now with the fellowship and all these things. It, it's not easy. It's not easy, man. That hurts. It, it, it's a battle. But, but you know what? People have told me, I'm watching you, Pastor. And, and you know what? I know that. Nobody has to tell me that. I know that. But just for your information, I'm standing strong. I'm standing strong. I, I, I'm going forward, my wife and I, hallelujah. That's what my wife is going to do on Saturday for you women. Wow. And she's going to encourage you. She's going to encourage you. And, and, and I hope I'm not sharing anything that you shared me in your message. But, but you know, <laughs> that's how preachers are, man. Don't tell me nothing because <laughs> I'll preach that message. Because <laughs> I remember, man. <laughs> and I'll be sharing. <laughs> I said, man, that was good. She said, yeah, that's my, <laughs> I, was <just laughs> I was just telling you that. Let me tell you something, church. People want to see if what, if, if, if what you are saying is true. People want to see how we do in our tough time. I know that. I know that. When somebody asks me sometimes, how are you doing? I I'm doing all right. Man, that does not mean that I feel good. That does not mean that I've got, man, the joy. But I'm doing all right. We're going to see this through. That's being steadfast. That's being grounded, man. That's being rooted. And, and let me tell you something, church. I'm not sharing that to brag on me. I'm sharing that because... I'm experiencing that, and I want to encourage you that, that, that whatever you may be going through, whatever you're going to go through, please remember, uh, people are watching you. Your life is a message in action. Now, we know that in the world there's a lot of unstableness, right? There's a lot of unstableness in the world today. Many homes, many marriages are falling apart today. Things are happening uh, in our churches. Uh, 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 God's people are flaking off. I'm talking about my church. I'm talking about. I'm talking about in the church world. Period. People are flaking off. Uh, but people need to see stability and commitment in a time like this. In the last days, what, 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 when, when all hell breaks loose and 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 and, and things get tougher. People need to see. They don't have to see hear another message, man. They need to see stability and commitment in the lives of those that claim to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They need to see people that are standing their ground and not falling apart in adversity. 
They need to see people that they can look up to and say, man, I don't know what you got, but I need that. I don't, I don't know what you got, but man, can you help me? See, that's the kind of people we need to be. That's being the salt to the earth. That's being a walking testimony. You need to understand that when you get saved or you claim you're a Christian, and you are, but when you claim you're a Christian, you know, it's not about you only because all eyes are upon you because people are hurting today. We are living in an unstable world, and they need to see somebody that is making it because they believe. That's us. People need to see stability and commitment. They need to see that we are standing our ground, not falling apart. It's possible to finish the race. It's possible to make it to the end. Amen? That's the only good part of dying. That's the only part I look forward to when it comes to dying. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, every night I tell the Lord, Lord, if I don't wake up tomorrow, I thank you for the life that you've given me, but I'm, I'm glad because I'll make it home. But I don't want to die yet. <laughs> There's a lot more we got to do, and, and, and I don't have to tell him that. He, he knows when it's time. Let me tell you something, church, as I wind this down. God wired you to succeed. God wired you to succeed. He created you to succeed. He created you to be victorious. God said you are more than a conqueror, man. You are more than a conqueror. He didn't say, you know what, I hope you make it. You, you look like you got. No, he's declaring you are more than a conqueror. He said that you can do all things through Jesus, Christ Jesus who strengthens you. That's what he said. If that's what he said, that means that's the way it could be. It's all up to you. You could get excited because that's true. But that does not mean that life is going to be easy. The reason they say you, you are more than a conqueror, man, because they're, they're going to be battles in front of you. It's not going to be easy, but it does mean that you have to make a rock-solid decision that you're not going to give up. Matthew eleven twelve 12 says, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. In other words, no matter what comes against you, you are not backing down. That's what it means to be violent. It means to be determined. It means to be aggressive with the devil. It means that, that, that you are determined to complete your goal with excellence regardless of what comes your way. It, 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 it means that you know who you are and, and, and you're going to declare that greater sea that is in me than he that is in the world. Instead of having the devil twist your arm, say uncle, say uncle, you, you, you don't do that. You say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. See, that's what I'm talking about. And it's hard to do that, man, when you're down. It's hard to do that when you got psychic. It's hard to do when you got a, a, a side swap. It's, it's, it's hard to do that, man, when you take, take some blows. But it's possible. I plead the blood of Jesus. It's all about attitude, church. Attitude, according to Webster Dictionary, is a position or a posture of the body appropriate to express a, 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 or an expressive action or emotion. In Mark 9, 23, uh, Jesus said, all things are possible to him who believes. The Greek word uh, for believe means to entrust, to especially uh, entrust some, uh, uh, especially one's spiritual well-being to Christ. That's what our attitude should be. Lord, I trust you with my life. Let me give you some words of advice. I'm, I'm done. But let me give you some words of advice, okay? If you are going to cop an attitude, please make sure that it's a good one. 
Amen? If you're going to cop an attitude, make sure that it's a good one. If, if you're here with an attitude and that's a bad one, hey, my favorite word is slap yourself. <laughs> okay? During the altar, come and say, Pastor, slap me. I'd be glad to. <laughs> Amen. I'm done. I just want to say, remember this. You need to choose your attitude. Choose the stance that you're going to take uh, in whatever tough situa situation you have to face in life. Hebrews 10.23 says this. Let us hold fast. Let us hold on. Let us hang on to the confession of our hope, of our hope without wavering. He who promised is faithful. How many that know that with God's help, your with God's help, your test will become your testimony. With God's help, your mess will become your message. With God's help. I mean, well, uh, 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 well, let me say this. People may see the glory, but they don't know the story. Can you say amen? They can see you all smiles and all this. You know what? They see the glory, man, but they don't know what you have to do to get there. You receive that tonight? Let's give them praise if you do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Give them praise if you do. Now, give them praise like you mean it. Give them praise like you believe. Give them praise like, 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 uh, 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 let that be your attitude tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.